want to think twice about bringing your boat to Folsom Lake. As you can see, debris all over the lake is blocking most launches. State park officials say they are aware of this problem and are contracting with the company to remove the debris as quickly as possible. CBS 13's Angela Masalam is live now at Folsom Lake. She's getting answers on how the debris is impacting visitors. Angela? Yeah, Sam Adrian, what you're looking at here is just a small portion of all the debris that's scattered around Folsom Lake. It's been really frustrating for some visitors who had a hard time launching their watercraft today. Others were a little more courageous. Total disaster. Absolutely total disaster. I, I was shocked. Disappointed. That was Stephen Jenelik's reaction when he drove up to this launch Tuesday morning, expecting to see a full and clear lake. The main launch ramp right over there is a total disaster. It's full of thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of wood. Uh, there's absolutely no way to launch. But the debris wasn't going to stop Stephen. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to find a way to launch today. He was determined to cruise the lake on his jet ski. Stephen drove to different launches and Oak Beach, but wasn't having any luck finding a clear spot to launch. I feel I want to cry. I'm just so disappointed. According to state parks officials, years of drought led to a buildup of debris as far up as the Sierra. Heavy winter rains washed the debris into rivers, reservoirs, and ultimately here into Folsom Lake. It probably started coming in in the first large storm events back in January and February. It's now May, and with Memorial Day just around the corner, we wanted to know why wasn't the debris cleaned up right away? We had these, this up and down of the water, which pushed the, the debris up on shore, and then it was back in the water, back up on shore. So we really couldn't get to it effectively. Crews began removing debris at the end of last week. They have 75 miles of shoreline to clean up. If we don't get it cleaned up, it's going to definitely impact our revenues for the park. Others, like Stevie Markey, aren't letting the piles of logs and branches get in the way. Stevie usually brings her kayak to the lake, but adjusted her plans given the sticky situation. We brought our floaties, so hopefully <laughs> they won't be popped by the sticks, but I don't know. Now, according to state parks, it could take about two months before crews could fully round up all the debris. Park employees are also warning visitors about the challenges they could face if they launch their watercraft. Big job out there, no question. All right, Angela, live for us tonight at Folsom Lake. Thanks very much.